Coming to you from the top of the Poconos, it's the Balcony Show with your host Ann Thatcher, Bo Summer, and me, the Mad Cat. We have searched the globe for the best in indie music, so you don't have to. So here we go, the Balcony Show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Balcony Show, your source for independent music. We are being recorded right here at Keiko Studios in Panarjo, Pennsylvania. Woo! Thanks for Woo! tuning in. On today's show, we have machines. They're going to be up later in the show. We're with an interview, and we're going to share some of their brand new music. They have a new single out. And uh, I'm not really sure, guys, what this is. It's it's H34R cocaine we have to ask yeah them. i used to be good at uh, reading stuff like that and I'm, i don't know if that means here, i'm blocked out cocaine yeah. Uh, yeah that's what i was thinking oh oh see no see, no wonder who's I don't the know. gamer yeah. <laughs> mike roy <laughs> so congratulations mike roy on your brand new video oh yes. thank you. yeah yeah good awesome. job thank you if you haven't checked it out yet please do do it do it on the youtubes <laughs> and we have all these great things but first Hi, Mad Cat. Hi, Mike. Yeah, and it's, hello, it's, hello, oh, hello. it sounds like there's going to be double abuse today. Oh, there not is going to be double abuse oh, yeah. because Finally. I, you know what? We're living in an age where people like to insult you. So <laughs> I'm going to give you ways to defend yourself by, by giving you some comebacks. Okay. Right. So we're going to listen to Mad Cat and Mike insult each other. <laughs> That's Which awesome. Isn't that, that pleasant? Oh. Yes. <laughs> <It's like> normal. <laughs> I was this hoping this would normal. happen. <laughs> Usually I'm defending him. Oh, right. Got, that's what right. I'm saying. And I'm defending you. You know what's oh, going on man. here? All right. Where are we at? Funny insults. Ooh, there's a lot. Yeah, they'll go quick, though. Funny insult number one. You are the human equivalent of a participation award. <laughs> That's just say yo mama. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Where I come from, everything was yo mama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number two, it's impossible to underestimate you. That's an insult. I know. I would take that as a compliment. Yeah, I'd be like you're damn right, I'd son. Be like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, the boy, you guys are. <laughs> just just wow. when you think I hit, hit it bottom low, Talk I'll show you a whole new one. <laughs> slow draw. <laughs> All right. Insult number three. You may not be the dumbest person alive, but you better hope that he doesn't die. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That's all Insult right. number four. I wish we were better strangers. <laughs> Aww. I like that one. Uh, yeah. I would tell you to go F yourself, but I'm pretty sure you'd be disappointed. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. That's a good one. Whoa. Insult number six. Does your ass ever get jealous of this shit that comes out of your mouth? <laughs> Wow. I think I've heard that. Wow. Uh oh. I think there's going to be a fight here at Keiko Studios in about two minutes. Oh, hell no. This is, this is great. This is like working back at the pub. Um, all right. Insult seven. Uh, you continue to meet my expectations, <laughs> which are hmm. really low. He says in a sarcastic voice. Mm -hmm. There you go. Insult number eight. I have neither the time nor the crayons to explain that to you. <laughs> I like that one. I just saw That's that uh, this past week, actually. That's, yep, yep. All right. Uh, unless your name is Google, stop acting like you know everything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't really say your mom after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, insult number 10. I would agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. You're not useless. I mean, you can be used as a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a tree creating the oxygen you're wasting. Go find it in the woods and apologize. <laughs> oh. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone who, everyone who ever loved you was wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, well, if you were that's, half that's as funny as you thought you were, you'd be twice as funny as you are. Oh really? <laughs> well, I hope your day is as pleasant as you as you've made mine. Huh. I envy <laughs> everyone you've never met. <laughs> I'd rather insult you, but I can't top what nature has already done. Oh, <laughs> well, wow. And in the end, I just, I'm just going to have to tell you, Mad Cat, this is why people talk about you. <laughs> That's a true See, story. you should have done the whole thing like that. <laughs> yeah, that was, they, good. that was good. That it was evolved good. the way it, it did. It did evolve. Yes. <laughs> Great job, guys. Oh, uh, hell. But that one, that particular one was very sad. Everyone 
whoever loved you was wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. That's really, yeah. 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 <laughs> deep cut. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to get things started tonight with our first song, and that's going to come from a band out of Wisconsin by the name of Once Around. And the name of the song is The Wild, and it's off of their very first album. Call it Fate or Redemption. So take a listen, and we'll be right back with the rest of the show. to the balcony show and right now we have the song the first song from tonight's interviewee group machines the song is called heroes and villains so give it a listen and when you come back we will be on the line with machines
sickening show. And now it's time for Indie Radar with Bo Summer. Welcome to the Happy New Year. Yeah, New Happy Indie New Radar. Year. Happy oh, New yeah. Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Yeah. yeah. We've got a lot to cover this year. A lot of stuff going on in the music industry for um, all kinds of artists, including indie artists that we, of course, live to support. But check this out. This thing called SongVest. Um, it's the world's first music marketplace where fans actually can become investors by purchasing fractional shares of music royalties. How cool is that? I don't know much about it, but it's out there. It's happening. And um, I guess artists and other uh, music rights holders can package any type of royalty system uh, for their fans and even take it to a different level, kind of like Patreon and some of these other um, platforms where fans maybe can access certain things um, from artists a little bit more than just, you know, streaming a song or or whatever. But um, song vest. So check it out. You never know. You might want to support whether it's an indie artist or maybe your favorite artist or just seems like everybody's struggling and could use a little help. And why not get in on perhaps doing a little business for yourself, a little side hustle, investing in maybe somebody you believe in. So check it out. Song vest. I'm sure if you Google it, there'll be some more information. Um, but just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention and keep that on your radar. And of course, I'm proud to say that this week's Indie Radar is uh, sponsored by our good friend, Lisa Koza from lisacoza.com. She is a local, uh, not only is she a very, very successful realtor in the Lehigh Valley in this part of Pennsylvania, but she's also a photographer. She's a videographer. I know she's done a lot of, uh, of video shoots for, um, including the Balcony Show, which we haven't aired yet on any of our social media yet, but, uh, she's a videographer. She's, um, videoed a ton of, um, local artists and, and she did, uh, very talented. So yeah, she did the, the video for, uh, chosen by Brian Dean. If you get a chance, take a look at what oh, she very did with cool. that. It's so oh, that's good. Stellar. Yeah. yeah that's I've awesome. That. She's very, very talented. So we're happy to have Lisa Coza on our team and, and helping us out. So Lisa Coza.com, check it out. And thanks for listening. I'd like to remind you at this time that the Balcony Show is proudly produced right here at Keiko Studios in Panarjal, Pennsylvania. So hit them up for all your production needs. KeikoStudios.com Mad Cats, Mad Tracks And on today's Mad Cats, Mad Tracks, we have the song Whirlwind by Cold Words. So give it a listen and here we go and by the love of God, I hope I got that name right, and I probably didn't. <laughs> but give it a listen anyway. Here we go. I'm caught up in I broke down for the first time in a long time since I left my pay for a better life. I still try just to get by, but my frail mind's only seconds away from a landslide. I want to stay locked up in my safe room, but the storm always finds a way to get through. No, 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 I don't know where else to run to. Here, here, here.
listening to The Balcony Show. It's time for the spotlight portion of our show where we showcase debut singles and returning guests. And your host is Donna Gallucci. So, here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Spotlight. With Donna freaking Gallucci. <laughs> hey. There we go. Hey. Right on cue. Hey. Hey. Donna freaking Gallucci. She's going to spin the pizza for you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Another year, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ahead of so us. So glad right? you're back, Donna. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm back, back after yep. some. Uh, she, after the poison she, she survived Bo's poisoning. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, her segment is still going on. <laughs> it didn't <laughs> work. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to get yeah. rid of me, but it's okay. Oh me. my god! <laughs> Not they, just Bo. Donna, oh my god! Now, All right. now to be henceforth known as Donna freaking Gallucci Gizmo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and we won't tell you why. No, you'll have to figure that one out on your own, everyone. Mm. But um, on today's spotlight, we have a great song by the band Silent Theory, and it's called So Far So Good. And this is a really great song. Um, Dakota Elliott Tyler is the lead singer. They're a band out of Amazing Idaho. Amazing voice. What a voice. That, that classic metal voice. Really awesome voice. The The band is like a combo of rock and metal. And this particular song, um, there's uh, that rap element going on in there, which mm. is really, really cool. And um, I read a, an interview with Dakota and he had said that he came to the realization that he wanted to be a musician years ago when he started flirting around with, you know, flirting with rap. He loved the storytelling aspect of the rap, oh, cool. not the gangster rap per se, but the storytelling yeah, yeah, behind yeah. it. So. Um, and you can definitely hear that in this song. And um, it's really cool. I, the more I listened to this song, the more it came together for me. It's got a really great hook. It's got a really great chorus. And another really cool thing is it's uh, they recently put out an acoustic version of this song, which I hope everybody checks out, too, because it's it's really cool to hear this kind of that metal unique. rock yeah. song. That's, kinda, that's this a good idea, in it, actually. And, voice and then to hear the acoustic point. version, it yeah. just gives you a whole new, like, you know, perspective on the song. So. Very so cool. Gotta Creative. check that out too. I like that. Yep. Well, thank you for that, Donna. Yep. So, and also there's a video. So go on YouTube and check it out. It's um, So Far So Good by Silent Theory.
everybody. Welcome back to The Balcony Show, your source for independent music. And we are really excited because I have Johnny Vegas on the phone from the band Machines. Welcome, dude. How are you? How are you guys? We're doing Pretty good. good. We're living it. Like I said, we're steering off course directly into the sun. <laughs> that's the way to do it. That sounds that's good to the, me. That's, that's the way. That's the whole story behind the damn Johnny Vegas crap, dude. So I'll tell you that. All right. <laughs> so you submitted to our Reverb Nation campaign, and uh, you submitted a song, your newest song, "Here Cocaine," which you're gonna, we're gonna hear later. I'm, I'm gonna tease you with that. Everybody's gonna, you gotta wait because that, that's a phenomenal song. But they heard your one of your first singles, Heroes and Villains. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Um, yeah, Heroes was a time. So, you know, we had basically been transitioning with, you know, I guess take it back to the start. Machines used to be Awaiting Eli. Um, and, you know, that came in that transition of trying to write some newer age stuff because the older stuff was a little bit more, um, grunge focus, which is good. I love it. I still love it. But I just, you know, as bands have been evolving and we got bands like Green the Horizon and Sleep Token and stuff doing like what they're doing, it, like it, you just got to evolve. And so we got with a new producer on that one, um, Chris Dawson, um, who a lot of, a lot of people know him pretty well. Um, and we and put heroes and villains together. Um, and then uh, ironically, we had some you know we had another one that you're going to talk about too we had that one in first but then heroes heroes won the toss on what was going to come out for that and i think we dropped that a couple years ago um and that's you know that song's just basically about finding finding it in yourself like everybody you know you wake up one day and, and you know you're either you're either going to be a hero you're probably your own hero in your own eyes but you might be a villain in somebody else's eyes so you're going to be a hero or villain that day Ah. Um, oh, very true. I, so that's kind of the way of the world, though. You know, I like totally relate to this whole this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should, yeah. old villain. That's right. <laughs> I wake, of I wake, all things, awesome. I wake up in the morning, I flip a coin, and I'm like, "What's the world getting today?" Yeah, yeah. it's got to be hero, yeah. mad cat, or villain, mad cat. <laughs> yeah, so I the mean, name machines, like, uh, Eric. Yeah, talk yeah. about that a little bit because I think that's interesting. Yeah, so you know, like I said, we we had been awaiting Eli before, and it just felt old. Um, I wish it wasn't wasn't bad, but I just, you know, it was something that you know myself and and like I said, producer Chris Dawson, we talked about, and you know, we had thrown out. Uh, it's always funny when you're going to come up with bad name or band names because it's just like a million things come out of nowhere. You get a band member that says like whiskey dick queens or something it's like what <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> like yeah, that's like, hilarious what is there it with the dick word to die <laughs> i don't know <laughs> the whiskey it's the magic queen. word <laughs> Apparently, it's a magic word. <laughs> Don't get dick but, triggered. Oh we were my talking. God. We were we were talking about dick before. Like it, it started with diction and right. went to dick. I, very I mentioned quickly. the word diction, and then went, and then co-host Donna was like, "Dick." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like I rang the bell. <laughs> but we yeah, take oh rest. Yeah. No, you, sparked, you, you sparked this whole thing, man. <laughs> um. But yeah, so we were, we were, you know, we were talking about that one night I was sitting here, I think I was writing a demo and I was like, machines, like machines and you watch all this crap and it, you know, like, I, and I never, I'm the type, I mean, I ran bars for a long time too, so I'm never the type to talk about politics or, you know, orientation, whatever the hell it is, you just keep that, it, it, is, just, it is what it is, but watching everything. And I'm like, dude, they're just like, it seemed, you know, especially during the COVID period, it just seemed like it's like, okay, they just want us to kind of follow with what they say. It's like, you're getting programmed. You're getting like programmed to to do this and program to do that. And so I was like, that's, that's good. Like machines, but don't just make it like spelled out, figure out a way to make it cool. You know, or whatever, I guess. Yeah, it was it. cool. Yeah. I figured it out right away. On the That's other cool. hand, Dude, she's very <laughs> proud of herself for I doing was, that because I, I couldn't. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's kind of like how it how it came about, you know. And and since then, we've you know we've we've definitely like as we've been rehearsing and getting things together for the live shows and um, you know because like I said, it's a, it, it want to have a, a fairly good production. Well, you know, want to have a stellar production behind it, given the budget and everything, you know. So. Um, it's just it's something that we've been able to build off of, you know, like um and and, it, and I think it fits us pretty well. I, I, I like the the sound of the music is definitely absolutely you know, 
I've taken a lot of influence from from you know artists that have uh, have evolved substantially. Um, you know, I guess just from what they had been like, Bring Me the Horizon is a perfect example of that. It's just from what they did do. So I was going to I was gonna ask you uh, before, you know, like what were some of your influences? Because for me, uh, I was I was kind of picking up a little bit of a, like a Papa Roach vibe. You yeah, know, you know, yeah, and absolutely. I, as I was Absolutely. listening to Heroes and Villains, I'm like, man, I feel like, you know, I'm like, definitely seems like a little uh, back, you know, back end inspiration in her somewhere. So there's no yeah. shelter for the machines. You want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no shelter. I mean, I'll be, be as open as well, maybe on that one. That one was written in a pretty, um, so that one was in, initially called Burn, um, as it's basically killing the devil inside of yourself. Um and like, so that's the line and the tagline and it's, I'm dancing with the devil, I'm dancing with the devil. And that, you know, that happened to, that was at a whole different time of my life. I, you know, uh, I guess well, this last September was, was two years sober for me on the partying and stuff. And that came, I mean, I wrote that song, literally singing those vocals and screaming that stuff underneath a computer desk. It was pretty wow. gnarly time, but wow. the song, when we got it with Chris, it came out to be a really cool song. And so it's, it's essentially like, you know, whatever the, the devil is inside of you. It's, it's, you know, meeting him for that last match and burning him alive is, is what that song is basically. That's about. really cool. All right. So, well, yeah. let her, let us take a break here and let our listeners, yeah. we're, we're going to hear no shelter by machines. You're going to want to go out and uh, you're going to want to get this song. You're going to want to get all their songs because they're stellar. So um, we'll be right back with the rest of the show and Johnny Vegas. Yeah. He's playing games with the broken heart The subconscious life you know He's playing games with the broken heart You gotta let go
We are back on the balcony show with Johnny Vegas from the band Machine. So, Johnny, tell us uh, what do you got as far as uh, you touring out, you playing out. Let our listeners know what's going on. Yeah, so we just we we just you know put out that uh, that the here cocaine song. Obviously, um, we have that getting ready to be followed up with a, another release with a visual we did with Tom Flynn out there in New York. Um, and that'll be coming out probably somewhere in March. We'll be going out to radio as well. We're actually doing a, a fairly good, substantial radio campaign for that. Um, and then March 4th, we're headlining here in Kansas City, where we're from. We're headlining the Voodoo Lounge and the Harris Casino. Perfect spot for Johnny Johnny Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. Oh, yeah. that's, where you, that's where you'll catch me after the show, like 2 or 3 in the morning down in the casino. So. <laughs> He says that's, that's exactly where this comes from. It's funny, but that we were like joking, and it's, it's just like it's like yeah, that's my alter ego for sure. Kicking the He's old, alter- kicking the old lady off the slot machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, she's sitting there slamming that button over and over and over, and I'm like, get out. <laughs> get but, up. Oh man, <laughs> get up, get uh, out of here. But, <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs> Pardon my French. Um, fuck you. But, um, but yeah, so March 4th, we'll do that. And then we're bringing down, um, I don't know if you guys got the chance to listen to Widow Seven yet. We're bringing them down from Des Moines. They're a great band. Um, and I, you know, we've known them guys for, no, but thanks for the tip. Oh, they're good. They're real good. They're, they are, they're killer live show. Their recordings are on point. And, um, and we've been friends with them since like the Dead Horse Trauma days. And, it, it, like, it was literally like, but that, that was like their old band. Was, Seth was in that band. That was his old band for a long time. Wow. Was last time when I remember them from like touring back with the Waiting Eli. So, with our new projects, I'm like, dude, we got to get some stuff together. So we're doing March 4th here, and then we're gonna we're gonna go out and play with them in Des Moines on the 29th. But we're we're probably gonna end up playing a good I don't know 10 12 shows with them between the time of there. So we'll set up probably. You know, a good little, depending on weather at that time, but a good like a little Midwest out to Denver, down to down to Austin, Oklahoma City, kind of hit some love in that area right That's now. Cool. And prep up, prep up to get because I've been our next. Like I said, our biggest thing is is getting uh, the next song that will be coming out too. Is is called Gravity. That one's gonna have a big push on it. So. We'll have to be out supporting these songs, which that's that's what we want to do. So, uh, but that's I mean, it pretty much as of right now, like I said, we're still kind of in the talks with with you know some people that are directing us <laughs> where what we should do and where where we need to go. The business the business side is always the the fun side, I guess, quote unquote fun side. So that's I'm like, cool. hey Johnny, this is uh, this is Mike Rowe. I got a question for you. Yeah. When you're setting up these like these tours and stuff like that, like uh, how do you do it? Are you a cold caller or do you work with somebody or? Um, yeah. So like I said, I mean, you know, being a, you know, I, I, I would say a younger band because the machines is fairly obviously new because we rebranded, but, yeah. um, I've got my black book of people that, you know, I work with, you know, in a waiting line, like 15, 16, 17 that, right. and then I also used to put on a lot of shows. I used to live in Omaha at the time. Mm. So I used to book a lot of shows through like TKO. But the thing is, is like those guys all got their packages set up. There's no, right. I mean, and, and and going out, you know, unless your numbers are just ridiculous, like going out, you're you're jumping in an ocean full of sharks where, you know, a lot of times you're better off making more of a personal connection with people or like I said, the resources I already have. Yeah. Um, for like most of these cities, there'll be places that I've uh, predominantly probably played. Chicago is oh, okay. one that I ironically haven't played. Right, um, right. You'll go in there cold. You won't know anybody. Yeah, no, yeah. but I mean, it's, it's fun that way. Like yeah. I said, it gives you, like, I, I mean... It gives you every place you pull in. It's different. Yeah. The vibe is different. So People are, it's like. So you go into, let's say you go into Chicago, never played there before. Mm-hmm. I live in Chicago. I mean, no, hypothetically, I'm in Chicago. I'm freezing my butt off. They call it the window city. <laughs> I don't know. But no, I'm not. No. Um, and I go to your show. What, what am I going to see when I, when I, when I check this band out machines, I'm in the audience. I get my beer. I'm, sta- I'm sitting there, standing there, whatever, talking to my friends. I don't know what you guys sound like. What am I going to see live? Um, well, I, like, you know, basically the thing is nowadays, I mean, you're, you, everybody's going to be well rehearsed. We were, like I said, we're working on a production right now where we're going to have, you know, not 110% sure on how the full production is going to be set up. But we, you know, given that idea of machines, we're going to, like, I guess the, what I can give away is that we're not going to just call it a show. It's going to be, 
it's going to be considered a simulation. Mm. Oh, so, cool. Like, you know, like just like if you go to a star set show, it's a demonstration, right? Right. Um, it's, it's a, I mean, even nothing more. I don't know if they call their show something, but it's, it's just, it's, it's a, you know, basically at the end of the day, you're as an entertainer, you know, I think I heard Mark Tremonti say this one time, actually, to be honest with you, I, I, I think it was in an interview with him where he said, if the, at, at any point, no, it was Bill Kelleher from Mastodon. At any point, if somebody can, go, I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Yeah. Or, or I, oh, you know, just like you said, you mentioned you got a beer. Well, yeah. get that beer in the beginning of the show because I'm not going to give you a second to not look at this until I'm done. Right. And that's how I've always basically. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, you're kind of a kind of the a hole with the guys. But at the end of the day, it's like this is what every everybody else is. This well, r- r- well rounded. It's got to be that way. It's got to be action packed, full of energy and. Mm-hmm. You know, if you are having a moment where some energy is diving, then there has to be some cool. You know, there's never a dead spot in our set. I, I guess that's the one thing I'll say is that you'll, you'll never catch whether it be a 30 minute, a 45 minute, an hour set. And You're they, never can, gonna catch. they can get all this information on your website. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we have a website up there. Um, it's machines.com. And then obviously we got all of our merch up there, too. Um, cool merch. Yeah, and, saw it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I, my, ironically, it's crazy. My wife is, you know, a designer and has a boutique and stuff. And so well, she, there you go. She, she so listen, like Johnny, me. we're going to kind of have to wrap this up a little bit, but I do yeah. want to give you a little bit of a moment to talk about uh, here cocaine. Um, Cause this Cause, is the song that got you on our show. So yeah, absolutely. You want to tell absolutely. set this up for our listeners and with that, yeah. we're going to say yeah. goodnight. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. So, so, you know, here cocaine, the song's about, uh, as you can hear in that course, it's about a, a relationship with someone that you, um, it might be a little, little toxic. Um, but you just, <laughs> you, you can't pull, can't pull away from it. It's kind of like that story. Um, but you know, like I said, I mean, you hear your love's like cocaine, toxic pleasure, insane. So it's just, it's you, 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 it's a familiar, so you don't want to leave it, but it's a toxic that you need to get away from, but you just can't. And so like you're screaming and breathing and it's just all those emotions that you can get out of those kinds of scenarios, which I'd say probably 99% of us have all probably been through. You know? mm, wow. <laughs> Look, well, yeah. listen, Johnny, As I wish... had his bopping yeah, really yeah, yeah. hard up. I'm like, I'm, right totally, I'm totally picking up what you're throwing I down. Wanna I want to thank like, you yeah. for spending some time with us here on the show. Please go to machines.com. Check out uh, where they're going to be. You're going to want to download their music. You're going to want to buy their merch. Please support this band because they are awesome. And so glad that you got to spend some time with us and tell us a little bit about yourself. Stay in touch when you get the new song out. We'd love to air it here again for you. And uh, that's kind of all I got. Definitely. And machines cool. is spelled M C H N Z dot com. Correct. Very cool. There you go. Awesome. All right. Well, you awesome. take care. You guys too. Thank you so much for having me on. We'll do this again. Cheers, brother. Yeah, man. And Cheers, we're going to end tonight with the song Here Cocaine from Machines. And we'll be right back with the rest of the show. Stay tuned. It's been a long time since I felt you.
thanks for staying with us here right on the balcony show your source for independent music we appreciate you listening we've come to the end of another great show thank you to johnny vegas from machines very fun him. interview great, great fun interview, interview. Yep. great guy yeah i hope he does come out to the east coast because i really yeah. would love to yeah. see him absolutely if you'd like to get on our show, I'd like to remind you we have a Reverb Nation campaign going. So go to Reverb Nation, look for the Balcony Show, uh, get us your music. I do guaranteed I will listen to your music. If you put it in Re- through Reverb Nation, I will hear your music. I do not guarantee the Balcony at Outlook.com because I get, you know what I mean? But yeah. I I said Email that Email gets blown up. Right. If so. you send it. She will listen. <laughs> but if you go, if it goes to Reverb Nation, I will hear it. Yep. So, anyways, I think that's it for us tonight. Anybody else have anything? I got nope. nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Live long and prosper. Live Donna, long. you still triggered? Yes, I am. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> anyways, say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody from the Balcony Show. We'll catch you next week, and we're going to end things tonight with Savage After Midnight. 10 feet tall. She says my name belongs in light. Shining bright, she says my words to get her high. But nobody does it like you do. 12 shades of the color blue. A million people trying to be like you. Nobody does it like you do